We've been to the top of the world to experience for ourselves just how rapidly climate change is accelerating. Martin travelled to the archipelago of Svalbard, just 700 miles from the North Pole, where a huge glacier is melting at an increasing and alarming rate. Giant glaciers have shaped the Arctic archipelago of Svalbard for millennia. The islands have just had their warmest summer in modern record. Temperatures three degrees above the average evidence our climate is nearing a tipping point. This is part of the Svalbard basement. Ice scientist Dorothea is taking me from the British Arctic Station to the rapidly retreating Brogabreen Glacier. The ice and the history it holds melting before our eyes. So ice like this gives us a glimpse of the past because the bubbles inside of it contain gas that give us an indicator of the greenhouse gases of the past. That means the deeper you drill into the ice, the further you can look into the past. 800,000 year old ice cores from Antarctica show how spikes in carbon dioxide mirror spikes in temperature. Currently, the world is getting warmer with no signs of peaking and CO2 levels fueled by man-made gases are at unprecedented levels. Snaking streams of iron-rich red meltwater leaching into the fjord, changing the colour and composition of the water. While the glaciers may be dying, the nutrients running into the fjord are bringing life and attracting these beluga whales. Also known as white whales, this pod of around 30 belugas appear to be cleaning themselves on the shallow gravel bed of the fjord's edge. Their numbers have stabilised since hunting was capped, but scientists worry about other species. I met Dutch scientist Max Willems. So these are the tanks where we keep our polar coats. In the neighbouring lab, she's giving fish a fitness test. The current the fish swim against is slowly increased. Oxygen levels in the water tell Max how hard the fish are having to work, and she can then assess how the warmth of the water affects their stamina. What's your fear if we continue to see the sort of temperature rises we've seen recently? So I fear that fish like the polar cod may not have enough energy left to stay alive, and that the animals that are dependent on them, like the polar bears, the narwhals, that they don't have enough food, and that it collapses the whole ecosystem. Svalbard is only a small part of the Arctic, but there's enough ice in the glaciers here alone to raise global sea levels 1.7 centimetres if they melt. That won't happen overnight, but it is speeding up. Martin Stew, News at 10, The Arctic.